Hello mga ka-vlogs Gusto po Tayo ay uh, Mag-try dito sa ating Bagong pang vlog Malaki yata ano. So anong kaibahan Ng pro sa hindi pro Ayan, Ayan mga ka-vlogs Gandang araw natin ngayon better than GoPro yeah I don't know ito mga kablogs ang isa sa mga plasan dito sa Prince George na um, tikat or <laughs> hindi na masikat maraming nagpupuntahan I guess uh, second to Pine Center Mall ang Spruce Land Mall or Spruce Land Plaza may dati yan may busy cannabis store sila dito family dental care uh, Mark's Save on shoppers, Dalarama, tandita yung Great White. Uh, sa tabi ng Great White is uh, yung 24 Fitness, and then so good. And then yung uh, co op over there, it used to be Husky, now it's co op. Ayan, na, na bilin na ata ng Husky yung co op. Ayan, Ayan mga ka vlogs lakad tayo ng konti habang naghihintay eh yung mga sinasabi kong uh, shoppers Scotia Bank yan, alam ko dati yung Scotia Bank na yan na hold up yan eh yan, meron silang quiz nose tsaka oops tignan tayo May pizza, Little Caesars Pizza, I think Yeah So Ayan Ayan mga vlogs ang uh, Sikh Tempo Ayan Ayan S uh, Sally I think may chocolate store din dyan eh Tingnan natin din yan Yung pala ka vlogs ko Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory hmm. Miss Sally Beauty Supply I guess sa mga mga panggupit na stuff I don't know kung open for public or you have to be beautician oh yan no oh. ibenta na sila ng ice cream dito in the middle of the winter pero okay yan mga ka vlogs ayan ang mga Apple na ginawang sweets may mga chocolates o yan, papagkawa ng chocolates yun yan na binibake nila custom made may chopped leaf here and first choice hair cutters yan, ito sinarado na nila eh. locally owned Ayan mga ka-vlogs o oh. Tarik ang araw pero malamig pa rin Pero Ang ganda at uh, Before 6 Medyo may maaraw pa Between 5 and 6 Tapos uh, Spring time yan patas na hanggang sa Maging alas 11 na eh Like uh, March 20 First I think is the longest day of the year Ayan. So sa mga gusto mag Canada dyan, paalala lang um, Ang Canada is uh, 
nation of immigrants so hindi lang mga puti ang nauna rito I mean ang mga talagang um, citizen ng Canada ay ang mga first nation ang tawag nila mga natives silang unang nakarating dito from uh, from Asia I think kasi kumukha natin yung mga mga first nations so maybe a land bridge from China to Alaska to do the North America tapos uh, yun uh, sa history kaya magandang manood ng history yung mga especially yung mga movie na ganyan ano ba yun kay Mel Gibson dati na mga native hinabol siya ng mga kapwa niya natives tapos Calypso something like that yun uh, gandang movie wala masyadong mga dialogue pero yung mga action scene ganda eh yan lang so so pag nandito ka sa tingin mo eh nation to ng mga puti hindi pare parehas lang tayo mga immigrants yan po um, just say something uh hello vlog uh I am waiting for my brother at sis and sister at the mall. Yeah. And him. How long are you gonna wait for? I don't know. Okay. Tell them why your channel got erased by YouTube. Yeah. Well, cause. Cause you were under, under 13. Yeah, under 13, under the age. Under age. So YouTube allows only 13 and above to have a YouTube channel but uh, I think uh, like who is that highest paid hmm? YouTuber who is under 18 Ryan Ryan yeah uh, it's probably under his uh, mom's account yeah. dad's uh, account yeah so. Ryan's a kid yeah. but he's not getting deleted because probably supervised Ryan's world yeah yeah, I thought it's gonna be just uh, replaced with the uh, uh, supervised YouTube account, but YouTube totally erased everything. So that was I opened that up since he was uh, he was born. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hi, mga kablogs. Tayo yung mag uh, ng sulat. Pagkita ko sa inyo Sa inyo mailbox dito Ayan Tapos May mga dalawang klase siya ng mailbox Isa para sa The whole BC And then uh, the other one is For the rest of the Other provinces or You know, the U.S. or outside, I guess. Because if you, I guess, if you're international, I think you have to go to the Canada Post for uh, different, different. Yung ano nun, ang ang stamp nun pagka sa Canada Post. Uh, iba yung presyo sa U.S ang stamp or just within Canada within Canada may mabibili kang stamp pero kung uh, sa regular mail lang yun pero depende rin sa sa bigat ng uh, mail na uh, you know na ihulog mo so eh hindi nadaanan natin oh, mga kablog so Yan, tatawid tayo dyan tapos na, ayun ko nakikita nyo yung dalawang pula na boxes for meal boxes yan, tignan natin kung makatawid tayo na maayos kasi mataas nga yung uh, snow kaya baka hindi tayo makita ng mga dumadating ng mga kotse lalo na ngayon kasi hapon pala um, ngayon eh ito yung 
dito, rush hour pala so, kailangan mabilis lang tayo tumawid tumawid tayo naka ayan mga kablogs tapos ayan din dito yung dalawang mailbox ayan meron siyang for local area ayan tsaka meron all other destinations so dito tayo sa local area kasi yung destination nya is uh, ano lang kuha tayo ng ng ano uh, jaryo libre yung jaryo dito once a week ata nilalagay nila yun so ayan tayo tayo Ayan mga ka-vlogs May parating Madulas Andan. So ayan uh, Prince George Citizen Once a week na Pinupunot nila yan Nideliver dyan Pero Hindi man ako palagi kumukuha Kano lang Nga napapadaan lang wala naman masyadong balita na puro advertisement lang na nakikita mo dyan sa sa dyaryo dito yan yan mga kablogs so, yan ganyan kapal yung snow sana mag uh, mag warm up ang panahon para matunaw na yung mga yan yan yung ating sunset ang ganda ng clouds oh. yung kulay parang purple kombinasyon nyo ng mga puno tsaka kulay snow ayan mga kablogs sa tingin ko mas maganda yung uh, quality kasi auto HDR sa GoPro 10 kailangan mong lagyan ng range pa yung ISO minimum tsaka ISO max dito ata eh ano na lang uh, tawag nito dito ay eh, kailang ah, naka auto HDR pala yun kaya maganda yung I guess yung subject compared doon sa auto focusing nya ayan try lang ayan mga kablogs meron tayong bagong balita para sa extension ng uh, tourist visa to work permit program dito sa Canada Basta mga kablogs o oh. Smiling as me Ayan Smile Ayan, smile Manunod kami ng Fast talk ni Tito Boy Abunda Kumusta mga kablogs? Magkapi tayo At mag-usap Isang snowy day today Kailangan Kailangan straight up tayo Para yung likod natin eh, Hindi Mabali Diba? Uh, magandang balita mga kablogs ano? um, nandito ako sa website ng canada.ca uh, nakalagay dito yung mga tourist visa tourist can continue Ayan, uh, 
Ah, ayaw mo makita yun. Oops. Yung gimbal eh. Mano siya. Anyways, visitors can continue to apply for work permits inside Canada with temporary policy extended by two years. So, pagkakaintindi ko dito, last February 28, 2023, um, na yung itong program na ito for tourist visa is na na-stop na, no? Uh, but, uh, for further review last February 28, in-extend nila hanggang February 28, 2025. So, two years from February 28, 2023, right? So, ang, ang kinalaman, uh, kinalamanan nito is uh, pwede kang magtrabaho while you're having a tourist visa as long as there's a LMIA na in-issue sa'yo and uh, yan uh, meron kang sponsor na uh, uh, employer within that uh, you know yung kung ang say uh, ang tourist visa mo is good for 6 months uh, within that 6 months kailangan makakuha ka ng employer na mag uh, magbibigay sa'yo ng lamia LMIA in yung I think it's uh, for an employer I I heard it was like a thousand something now uh, for issuing uh, LMIA to to a prospective uh, you know uh, work permit holder yeah so yun nga no uh, so as long as you have a valid status in Canada as a visitor on the day they apply tapos have a good job offer that is supported by a labor market impact assessment in yung LMIA or an LMIA exempt offer of employment na yan o subject oh, submit an application for an employer specific work permit no later than February 28, 2025. So, ngayon may definite date tayo. Uh, so, within that two years from now, today is March 1st. Um, tapos, you meet all other criteria, admissibility criteria. So, tapos sabi pa niya, applicants who have currently have visitor status but who have held a valid work permit in the past 12 months, months can follow special instructions to get interim work authorization to start working for their new employer before their work permit application is finalized so and click uh, link sabi niya if you're a visitor who is applying for a work permit in Canada and held a valid work permit in the last 12 months you can ask to be allowed to work while we process your application who's eligible you must be physically present in Canada when you apply you must stay in Canada while we process your application if you leave while your application is being processed you won't be able you won't be eligible under this public policy be a visitor with a valid status when you apply for the work permit I don't know if your visitor status has expired, you need to restore your visitor status before you apply for work permit. And applied for an, an employer-specific work permit between August 24, 2020 and February 28, 2025. So, uh, nagumpisa pala to nung uh, August 24, 2020. Ano? So, I have held a work permit that was valid in the 12 months before you applied for a new work permit ayan no andito lahat sa canada.ca uh, yung i-search nyo lang yung uh, tourist visa in Canada ap uh, applying for a work permit uh, yung, yun yung pag-search ko eh. so I I'll link the I'll, I'll leave the link description sa sa description para 
I will leave the link sa description para i-click nyo na lang dun. Okay? If it's incomplete, we'll return your application without processing it. Ayan. So, ang nakalagay pa dito, <clears throat> an officer will also check the list of employers who fail to comply with the conditions to make sure that the employer can hire you. Ang alam ko kasi, uh, yung employer, eh, pagka kukuha sila ng LM, LMIA, ay eh, kailangan nilang i-post yung, yung work na yon sa tatlo, I think, na newspaper or ad para mabalid na, na you know, um, nag-ano muna sila sa Canadian or permanent resident nag-try to advertise kasi parang sinasabi dito na because of uh, labor shortage lo, shortage sa Canada eh uh, pag walang mag-apply na permanent resident or Canadian citizen eh, kaya, eh pwede nilang i-offer yung job na yon sa mga tourist visa uh, holder na capable of the work. Ayan, ayan yung sinasabi nila. So, depending on the type of work you'll be doing, you might need a medical exam. Ayan, nandiyan pa. May clink na sa medical exam. Eh. Kailangan, uh, ano ka, fit, fit ka for the job, physically and mentally. Ayan. So, if you do, an officer will tell you and will send you instruction on what to do. A medical exam can act add over three months of the time it takes us to process your application. So, depending uh, yung medical exam, no? uh, yung processing will probably add three months to process your application. And we may also ask you to send more information. You know. So, while in process, na, no? uh, if you applied on paper, and don't know your application number, include your courier tracking number. So, kailangan may record kayo ng mga na-mail nyo na, yung mga tracking number, kailangan i-keep nyo. Uh, you know, kailangan yun. Tapos, uh, step 2, nakalagay doon dito, wait for us to contact you. So, you must wait for us to email you to let you know that you can start working. And this may take up to 30 business days. So, 6 weeks daw. Okay, business days meaning Monday to Friday. So, ang uh, Saturday, Sunday hindi included kasi sa, that's not a, a working business day, right? So, if you're in Canada and your application is approved. Ayan, may mga double link pa lang sila. So, marami tong ano, uh, mga step. Tapos, uh, may mga next pa, prepare for arrival. Ayan, no? Uh, this is a, a, a good uh, re, um, website that you should go to. Uh, it's Canada.ca and it's a work permit. Tapos, uh, yan, yan, mga after you apply. Yan. Andito lahat. So, I'll link the description. Uh, the link. I'll leave the link in the description below. Yun pala. Okay? So, yun lang po. Sana yung nakatulong tong vlog na to at uh, you know, uh, sa mga hindi pa nag-subscribe, uh, you can subscribe kung gusto nyo lang at uh, uh, leave a, a like, thumbs up kung nagustuhan nyo to. At uh, kung gusto nyo naman ng, ang next uh, content natin, ma-update kayo, um, just subscribe to it, to my channel. Salamat po. Bye-bye.